lecture we are going to learn about what is known as DHCP or dynamic host configuration protocol so what is this dynamic host configuration protocol so when you are on a LAN okay so you are on a LAN and you turn your computer on so at that time this computer does not know its IP address okay so if you want to connect to the internet you should have your IP address I should know my network prefix I should know the default gateway router okay to which I have to send my packets for sending it to the internet then I need to know the name server okay so what is my name server so from which I will know that okay if I have to contact google.com what is its IP address and so on so dynamic host configuration protocol is the one which provides so it's a server which provides IP address to your machine on a LAN or a group of machines okay so it's an auto automatic process so what happens in our lab I used to see is that if you are doing a manual configuration okay let's say hundred machines are there on your in your lab and some administrator is doing some manual configuration so what will happen somehow if we give the same IP address let's say 172.17.6.7 to two or more machines then they will have a conflict and none of them will work okay so it's important that we have an automatic process where a computer okay handles all this so we will see for static address allocation that was done manual configuration this is dynamic address allocation okay so if a machine comes up so we have to give it an IP address which is unique among all the computers okay so then we talks about manual and automatic configuration and how it proceeds okay what is the packet format what is the transition states and exchanging messages that we will see it's very interesting topic so first and foremost DHCP provides static and dynamic address allocation that can be manual or automatic so when a computer comes up so it wants an IP address that will be allocated by your DHCP server it says it can be static it means when it knows that okay this is the MAC address so whenever your computer comes up it will be assigned the same IP address then it is static dynamic the same computer when it came up it might be assigned 100 okay so one something like 172.16.6.5 next time when it was shut down and it comes up it might be assigned 172.16.6.8 okay so it's not necessary that one particular machine will always be assigned the same IP address okay but in static IP address scheme it will always one machine with one and IC will always be assigned the same static address it can be manual it can be automatic so DHCP okay so you provide IP address it can be manual it might lead to conflicts and so on but automatic you can see okay so it will be better now let's try to see what is a DHCP packet okay so then we will understand okay so a packet is a communication okay this is what we write in a kind of letter if we were sending so what fields we write okay so we write first thing is operation code that okay this will tell that okay I'm I'm a computer that comes up I will send a DHCP request so operation code will have two things okay is it a request code or a reply code so when I'm sending that okay please DHCP server give me the IP address then it is request hardware type like is it ethernet hardware length hop count what is the maximum number of hops that my packet can travel transaction id so when a machine comes up and it is talking to the dhcp server it they will have for the communication one particular transaction id that will help identify that particular communication so there is a server many clients let's say there was a power shutdown many computer comes up okay all the computers in fact they will come up again and they are asking for ip address from this server now 
how will they differentiate these communications so they have different transaction id so 1001 this might have 255 this is 366 and 254 so they all have their communication which has different transaction id number of second tells us that okay when i'm allocating you the ip address the dhcp server how much time will be it allocated for so it says 3600 seconds okay so this means divided by 60 those many minutes i will give you the ip address client ip address initially when i will send a request i will not know okay i will not know that okay which is my ip address i will not fill it this field is your ip address when the server is giving you an ip address it will be filled here server ip address this is the ip address of the dhcp server okay and then gateway ip address this is about the gateway router when i'm coming up on a network i should also not just know which is the dhcp server what is my ip address i should also know okay what is the ip address of the default gateway router so that if i'm sending the packets to internet outside then where should i send my packet to so it should be to the default gateway and the server name boot file name it provides other things okay that you might need and options okay that we will see so what are the dhcp message type so dhcp discover is the first one okay so where what happens a computer sends a broadcast message so i just turn up i don't know any ip address whatsoever so i will broadcast okay so everyone hey all of you i'm sending a request please assign me some ip address okay so all of the people will hear but only the person who knows how to assign an ip address that will be your dhcp server he tells that okay i am the one who will assign you so i broadcasted i requested to everyone the but the person who can allocate me is dhcp server he will send me a reply back okay telling that okay this is your ip address and so on so this reply that is the reply for the broadcast message is dhcp offer okay now they will send that okay the server will send okay this is your ip address this is the time for which i'm allocating you this ip address this is your dns name server the name server and so on and if there are more than one dhcp server so you might get more than one offer okay then you are going to decide whose offer i'm going to take whose ip address so then when i decide that i will send the dhcp request to that particular server that i'm taking your ip address but this will also be a broadcast message so that other dhcp server whose address i'm not taking they also know that okay i'm not taking their address this is there i am choosing one dhcp server's address and that dhcp server might decline it because he might have given that ip address to someone else during that period okay then he might decline okay dhcp act that okay i'm ready to give that ip address dhcp NAC, okay uh, dhcp release release is that okay i'm done with this ip address i don't need any communication i'm releasing so let's try to see these things so there is a client okay so the dhcp client it comes up and it starts the dhcp client at port number 68 okay so it's not a random port you should understand most of the clients we start choose a random port number but here it's 68 okay we will know why it is so it will send a discover message it's a broadcast okay to everyone on my lan i will send that okay please tell me that okay what ip address i should choose and this is the server so this server will now each one of them gets this message but the server replies back okay that okay i'm sending you an offer and dhp server dhcp server runs at port number 67 so the broadcast message goes to everyone let's say there were two servers so now both of them sees this broadcast message request they reply you with some ip addresses and offer so it comes to this client and now he has got two offers okay so you take an ip address 172.6.8.5 
and another another one sends 172.6.8.21 now it is up to him to decide whose ip address i should take so he decides for this one let's say and then he sends a dhcp request this again is a broadcast message okay again a broadcast so that this person knows that okay i'm choosing his ip address allocation and not his so both to both of them this message will go it in fact it will go to everyone but both of them will know okay this my is not selected and he will know that his is selected so now what happens that person will reply this server will reply to this machine that okay dscp act so i have given you permission to use that particular ip address and along with that it also sends the so one is ip address what is your ip address then the ip address of the name server then i will send you the default router gateway okay so these are the things i need to send you now what happens i'm using it and let's say he had allocated this ip address for 3600 seconds so after 50 percent of the time expires okay so by 60 so how much is this so 30 minutes after 30 minutes i see that okay my lease is expiring so i will send a dhcp request again if the server does not respond the request is repeated if the server responds with nac the client then what he does again start a dhcp request and so on okay so this goes on and dhcp release is for i am now not using this particular ip address okay i am going now so these are there so this is just showing showing that operation again so dhcp discover so there is a dhcp client it has a mac address 00 a0 2471e444 it sends a DHCP discover. It goes to this machine, to this machine because it's a broadcast message. It goes to both the DHCP servers. Now both of them send their offer that, okay, you are being assigned this IP address, this IP address. Now it is up to this particular machine, okay. So DHCP offer is sent by both of them. This machine now decides which one to take. So DHCP request it sends to this server that okay I'm taking your choosing your IP address. This is also a broadcast. So he will say okay so this one will get that okay I'm not choosing yours. This will know that okay he is choosing mine IP address and then he will send and act that okay it is fine. So then renewing leasing okay. So what happens now? So after he sees that okay the uh, time is expiring 50% has expired he will send a DHCP server he sends a request okay if DHCP server what he does he if he sends a NAC then the address is released okay so if the DHCP server sends a NAC if he request for a renewal and he sends a NAC then what will happen this will be released okay so IP address will be released but if he sends an ACK, then it is fine. I can again use it. It is renewed. Okay. Now DHCP release. So at this time, the DHCP client has released the IP address. So I'm shutting down or whatever. So I do a DHCP release. I'm not using your IP address. And this is the state transition diagram. So I'm just booting up. So I'm in the initializing state. Okay. I've just started. I will send in our so these are the states okay what state I am in now state machine and some events are happening because of which I will go to other states so from initial state I send a DHCP discover message now I go to a selecting state okay so I will get if there are two servers I get a DHCP offers from both of them and when I receive the offer still I am in selecting state okay then when I have selected and I send a DHCP request to the server to which I chose the address I will go to the requesting state okay to find okay so if the server gives me an app I go to 
bound state that okay now i have got an ip address and now i'm first functioning properly i'm talking to all people on the internet okay then i find that okay the time has the lease for which he has given me if I, it is expiring 50 percent of the time has passed i will send a dhcp request for renewal if i get an ACK, i will again go to the bound state but if he sends me a NAC, okay so what will happen and dhcp request 87.5 percent of time has now what happened it has expired so i will be in a rebinding state okay and then what happens if i get a knack then what will happen i will i have my lease expired so i will go to the initial state and again i will send a dhcp discover message to all the servers but if i get an ack i will go to the bound state again from this bound state if i myself or a node itself decides to go away it will send a dhcp release okay and then lease is cancelled he will go to the initial state okay so this is there for your dhcp transition diagram so you know now what is happening in the dhcp server okay uh, the basically the client and now one thing that was left is we use port 68 for our client and why not any random port why because let's say there was a daytime server okay daytime server was running on port 1567 our dhcp server was also running on 1567 then what happens i send a request okay and then the packet when it comes for the dhcp offer that is also a broadcast okay because now when the machine had asked for its ip address still it does not know when it what is its ip address will be be assigned so the dhcp offer is also a broadcast message so if it is sent at port number 1567 to all people then what will happen daytime server will also get confused that what message it is getting because it was expecting time reply and it will be getting some dhcp reply so it might get confused so it's always port number 68 that will know that okay if this message is coming at 68 it will be a dhcp reply now you might ask that okay let's say there was a shutdown power shutdown all machines starts at the same time so now what will happen all of them will send the request together so how will this reply be taken okay so now that's why there is a transaction id okay so all of them sends request but let's say three machines were there they all send a dhcp request to the server but when the broadcast reply will come to port 68 then the transaction id will be different for all these okay so that's how they will find their ip addresses so i hope you understand this dhcp thanks a lot